Great here. Welcome back to Factorio. So it's been a while, so I need to uh, see where I am on this one and decide that I'm actually going to redo all of this. I know I just got done taking care of this, but I realized that there was not a better way to do this, but an, an alternate way that might actually um, make the build a little bit easier. I kind of had an epiphany when it came to steel smelting so let's just clear all of this real quick and get off of the belt there we go and what I want to do is I want to yeah let's just get rid of all of these real quick where are my really great they stole all of them okay well let's get rid of the pipe for the time being and please give me all my electric furnaces back <sighs> evil evil so what I actually want to do is I realize that maybe if I have these feed directly into oops this is not feeding directly into it is it okay let's try that again let's also get rid of this please and thank you where are these there they are so if I have these feed directly into the other electric furnaces maybe this works out a lot better for smelting iron who knows let's find out helps if I'm not standing there doesn't it of course I'm butting up against my <sighs> my uh, bus there okay, get rid of all these and where are the rest of the electric furnaces? There they are. Okay. So, crap, take a drink. <laughs> uh, maybe I should institute a rule where I get, I get one okay every every um, play th or every episode yeah maybe that should be it so the next one will be a drink we'll we'll go with that ooh I was able to squeak it in okay mm. So let's get this split, and we will have, oh, wait. That way, and this one will come down, one past, and turn. Do I even need this much steel processing? Oh. Stop. There we go. Come on. Now, if I were another Let's Player, I would actually try to do the math on this instead of just giving it a try. So this is, um, let's see, crafting speed of two, but it doesn't say how long it is. This is a crafting speed of two, doesn't say how long it is. Mm. See, that's why I'm not doing the math on this. Am I getting all the way down to the end? Yes, I am, but that's with a fully satur saturated belt, which this is not. So let's get up here and... Speed this up all the way down. At least to there. And I want to get this belt completely saturated. Oof, it is dark up here. Well, for the time being, I'll just deal with it. So... Looks like we're having a hard time here. Just out of curiosity. 
If I have... Do these fill up the belt a bit better, do you think? Maybe. Let's make a few more of those. Kids, don't do that at home. That's very dangerous. Now let's do an offload on this side. Thank you, logistics robots. You're awesome. How about if I just... I really shouldn't do that. How about I just have these go in like this? Why not? Looks decent enough. See, that's why it's dangerous. Let's get... Three... These are passive providers. Yeah, it's been a while since I played. So these are the three passive providers. So this will offload the chain... Uh, chain... The train a lot faster. Having both sides working on it. It does look like it's saturating the belt a bit better. Hmm. Well, for the time being, let's get this set up. I need a few more stack inserters. And let's have these merge in right there. So I just want this to go across. Nope, 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 not that. We need underground belt. Again, dangerous, don't do that at home. Why do I keep doing it? Because I'm stupid. And obviously want to die to my train. There we go. So there's full saturation on the belt. And... <laughs> these... Obviously are not going to feed as much as the other ones. Pardon my cough there. These are not going to feed as much as the other ones. Um, in fact... Let's put a load balancer here. And have this one feed directly into the load balancer. And let's do the same here. Not that kind of load balancer, this kind. Since I don't know where the train is, I'm going to be smart. And let's have each of these... Extend one. And we'll do the same load balancing trick out here. So we want the outside... No. Yeah, I can cross. Okay. Actually, I did not extend this one. There. Admit it, you were hoping I would get run over. So... Okay, let's just recreate how I had it. 
but extend these out by three. There. Okay, which one of these is not going to... Okay, so it's going to be this one, the top one, which is not going to... So let's have that one split in. And here it's the top one again. So we'll have that one go into the splitter. There. Now everything is offloading a little bit. So let's go back around and take a look. Yeah, that looks that looks very nice. Let's check down here, see if everything is So we're not completely getting down to the end. But mostly. Oh, I know what it is. I bet you this needs to be... There. That will definitely get to the end. Because I needed this to get full saturation, obviously. And now the question is, do these... Are these fully loaded... By the t yeah, it looks like they're they're running fine, at least with with uh, the speed. I bet you if I put uh, double inserters, or not uh, double inserters, fast inserters. But this looks good, and the steel's backing up nicely. I'm gonna have to remember this. I think a one to one ratio works. I think across all of the uh, all of the. What am I thinking of? Furnaces. I'm not sure. Something to, to noodle out going into the future. Okay. Let's drop these off because I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not done with them yet. No, I have 50. Go away. Go away. Shoo. Let's undo that because I don't want to keep 50 in my inventory. So, red circuit production is all right. It could be better. Let's check the steel on this side. Yeah, we just got steel straight across. I don't think we're going to have problems with steel at all. However, this smelting area could could use a boost. I want to I want to get rid of this coal line. Is what I want to do. Let's get rid of these. Do I want the stone? Eh, it's not hurting. We'll keep the stone for now. And how's our water doing? One point six, one point five, one point six across the board. I guess the better question is, uh, how are the engines? Yeah, the engines aren't completely shut off yet, but they should be fine for the time being. Hmm. Now the copper smelting is just working fine. This done? Yep, that's done. Be gone! We're almost done with the the iron ore right here, and then I could repurpose this area. So the question is, do I want to try to rebuild this right now? And I don't think I do, and that's simply because... No, actually, I do. I know how I'm going to do this. First off, let's get a bunch of red belts. What I want to do... Is let's rerun this line here. Ha! 
I picked up a logistics bot. Get out of my inventory. Back in the network. You lazy bum. Oh. Helps if I put it the right direction, right? And one more. There we go. And let's get some more of those built. Okay. So that gives me a bit more room to work with. So let's just tear all of this down. All the way back to about right there. Oh, construction robots. This is why you want hundreds of construction robots. So we can now completely get rid of this. All the way up to here. Good, good, good. Now, if I remember correctly, I do have... How far back can I cram this? I think I can cram it that far back. And to here, can I get one more in there? No. Wait, yes I can. Let's see if I can do this. If I go, no, 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 I'll do it by hand. I really should put lights into this blueprint, really. The interior is, not, is the output, not the input. Well, that's what I get. But this is what makes robots so nice. Make a mistake, tear it all down, rebuild it again. Whoops, I didn't mean to tear that down. Okay. Dope, take a drink. So, let's rotate. No, 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 no. Ro rotate it. There we go. So I'm going to need two. Can I get one more in here? E maybe? It'll be close. Get the lights back down so I can see what I'm doing. So let's do a split here. Now let's just make this red straight through and going the right direction. Right back into the main bus. Oh, that's one too far. So I think that's an overall decrease in my iron production. And the reason for that is I could these are three wide each whereas the previous one is too wide. So in the same amount of space, I'm, I'm fitting a third less. Yeah, we can, we can see it right here, 
how little is, is going down to that bottom portion. Can I fit any more in here? I don't think I can. I could if I didn't have these engines here. That would be nice. If these weren't here, how close are these? 110, 1.1k, 1k. Oh. So frustrating. Or if I could fit more in here. I should have started from the bottom up, I guess. Is this one to, uh, finished? Yes, it is. So where can I put more iron smelting in here? Can I cram a bit more in here? Yeah, but not a whole lot. I don't want to reverse it like I did on the... Uh, reverse the entire iron line, because that's three lines I've got to reverse. I would have to put the gears on the other side. That would just be more trouble than it's worth. Here's a thought. What if... Instead of smelting down here... I put a smelting line up here, because look at all this free space I have right here. And instead of moving the, the iron ore across, we would smelt, then move the plates across, and down, and in. On the other hand, this looks like it's it's holding up here. So let's put a pin on that idea. Because if I'm going to do that, I'm going to ha need a ton of red belt. And in fact, I think I might finally want to retire all of this yellow, uh, yellow belt inserters, splitters, and the underground belt. I don't want to use these anymore. However, I've kind of boxed myself in right here with this setup. And I may also want to include automatically building blues. I definitely want to at least automatically build reds and just start using that exclusively. And the my fast inserters. Do I have fast inserters in the network? I mean automatically built in the network? Yes, I do. Right here. So, as... To start off, let's get rid of this. Let's make this... Where are you? 50 fast inserters. We'll... Nope. Unpin these and swap them for the time being. Actually, you know what? No. This will be... Where are they? There it is. These will be my fast inserters. And these can be junked. I don't want you in here, in my inventory ever again. Be gone. Let's unpin all of these and swap their position. Repin all of these and again, just all of these can be removed. Okay. Eh, it's been a while since I actually said it, so that shouldn't count. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here, kind of clear my throat because I've been a little bit scratchy since the beginning. And I think I am going to make, this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to make a temporary um, area that will make, the, I'm not even, well, at least the fast inserter belts. Um, that way I can rely on having at least those in my inventory. I hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun.